get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Scarlet Knights and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41. Red two, X, seven. Hey, motion backfield, motion backfield. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. got it with room to run. He's at the 40. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Number two on the tackle at the 32-yard line. First down. From the 32-yard line, first down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Just flung it out there, and it was short. Uh, he got a little bit lazy here. There's no question. He should be able to make that throw nine out of ten times. That was the one time he missed it. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, gave a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Rutgers is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he missed it left, no good. Well, sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And he just gets rid of it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. Black five, black five. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That'll make it third and nine. Stays inbounds and made a nice catch. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. They go with a screen incomplete. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Mark 22, Mark 22. Red two. Red seven. Red. Scrambling around. He's at the 30, and he is drilled at the 25-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. From the 25-yard line, first down. He 
gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Boss is out with a tailback on the screen. And he's tackled right around the 22-yard line. That makes it 37. Here's the eighth play of the series. Stepping up. Fires it out. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. That brings up fourth and three. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Penn State could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and he got it. <laughs> Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. Penn State's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, Get your offense out there. They move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And he's taken down around the 41 yard line. That's a game of 16. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Three down. 40's Mike, 40's Mike. Red two. Blue hit. The ball pops free. And now it's recovered by the receiver. Nice run there. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Hey, watch 28. Mike 40, Mike 40. Red two. Oh. Out of bounds around the 49-yard line. And that'll be a first down on the three-yard pass. Nice throw and catch there to get past the sticks. Four down, four down. 40's Mike, 40's a Mike. Red two. Green 15. He gets to about the 41-yard line. That'll bring up second down. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Red two, green 15. Brought down right around the 40. for the first and he stops. It's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. And this play is number eight on the drive. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 3-0, Penn State. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Check Mike 40. Dog four. Green. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Pull 
Tackles down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle at the 19-yard line. Number 38 makes the tackle at the 19-yard line. Third down. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Four down, four down. Forty is the mic. Go ahead, two. Green. He's got an opening. And they make the stop at the nine-yard line. He gets another set of downs, and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. It's the 11th play of the drive. And down he goes at the one-yard line. That brings up second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. One yard to the goal line. A short yardage defense here. Red two. Blue four. Throws complete touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a 12-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Rutgers gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Setting up the play action. He's tackled at the 32. That's good for the game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Check the outs out there. Four down, four down. Mike 22, he's coming, 22. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Gain of three on the play. Third and inches. First and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. to the tailback and he hits him hard at the six yard line not much there for the halfback but he picked up some tough yardage well nothing fancy here the back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down and he's tackled at the four he gains a couple of yards on the carry this freshman does a good job of reading and reacting to the play from his spot in the secondary and he makes a good tackle 
just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. This is the 10th play of this drive. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. It's up, and they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Penn State is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Rutgers is up one. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down at the 44. That's a D19. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. Mike 40, Mike 40. Red, check, check. Dancer, dancer. Hey, if you kill it, motion me out. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First down. From the 41 yard line, tight, 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 it's first down. Three down, three down. Forty's Mike, forty's the Mike. Red two. They bring him down in the backfield. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. Dog oh, four. Go. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's knocked out of bounds. Around the 40 yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll make it 39. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Four down, four down. Hey, go on, Mike 40, Mike 40. Go! And two! And they got him. The pressure got to him that time. Well, they brought the heat here, and the linebacker was able to spring free for a big play. Try to change the field position with this kick. Excellent punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He fights forward to about the 23. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 23-yard line, second down. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. The Scarlet Knights lead 7-6. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. He sends this one deep. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive, 
Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. And he's level at the 43 yard line. From their own 43 yard line. First down. Good tackle there in space. That's a brother. That brings us second. He's got all day. This is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down around the 34-yard line. That's a deep five on the day. That brings him second and five. Loss of one there for the halfback. That is a loss of one yard. That'll make it here five. From the 35 yard line, it's third down. He fires. This one is incomplete. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. Penn State can take the lead here with this field goal. The kick is up, and he just drilled it from long range. like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackles him hard at the 23-yard line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 23. Dumps it incomplete. Wanted the screen. Wants it all going long. And that's his receiver who's wide open. And that tackle could have saved a very big play. Number seven with the tackle at the 20 yard line. First down. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Red two. Kill, kill, kill. Inside the 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That's a game of 13 on the way. That makes it first and goal. Four down, four down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Don't. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Watch the slant, watch the slant. Motion. Oh. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Game of six on the way. That brings him second and goal. From the one-yard line, 
It's second down. Throw caught touchdown. Well, they're going to try for the two point conversion. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Green nine, green nine, green nine. They don't get it. You can't take sacks like that in a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Rutgers to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Scarlet Knights coaching staff's got to be elated over on the sideline about what they plan to do with this wide receiver and the plans coming to fruition. Absolutely, and they continue to be able to find ways to get him the football. That's the thing that's been probably most impressive, not just his ability, but how they've moved him around and gotten the football to him in different ways. It makes it very tough on the defense. That brings up second and Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They try running left. Tackled after decent pickup. That makes it first and ten. And they get the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. That brings up second and thirteen. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. 22, he's coming, 22, he's coming, Mike, Mike. Green, easy, easy. They'll bring him down at the 39. Gain of one yard. Back 22, back 22. Dog four. Go. Ah. He lost the ball. Offense falls on it. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. Fourth and long here after the sack. And this one is a beauty. Tackle at the 21. Not a great return there. Boy, he got a hold of that ball. This punter has a big time leg, and you can see that when he gets a hold of a ball like that. Really goes. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. their own 19-yard line. Second down, Rutgers is up by four. Throws in the middle, and down he goes, right around the 24-yard line. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. The Scarlet Knights lead it by four. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Three down, three down. We might look back on this game when it's all over and say that's the point where they won the football game with that stop. That makes it fourth and four. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. 
It's away, and it's a booming punt. Gets out to about the 31. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Throws it in a hurry. There you go. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 29 yard line. Box 22, box 22. Head two. Easy, easy. Square. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. He's tackled at about the 47 yard line. First and ten, ball on the 47 yard line. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. And they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. Tackle made right around the 30. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. From the 30-yard line, first down. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. It's third and five. Ball on the 25. Just under three to go in regulation. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. Penn State gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You look up at the clock, Herbie, and there's not a lot of time to make something happen here. No, it's been ugly for both of these offenses. you got to think about maybe spreading out the defense, giving your quarterback a chance to either run or throw. Somebody's got to make a play here to determine the outcome of the game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Feeds it to the back. He's pushed out of bounds around the 42-yard line. First down. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Red two, orange three, Six. orange three, go! It's the tailback, 
and he hits him hard at the 43. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. Just under two to go in the game. The Nittany Lions call a timeout. That's their second of the half. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's taken down right around the 40. You know, the defense knew that this offense was trying to work the clock. When you want to work the clock, you're going to run the football. It puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line to get low and drive that defensive line back. And that's what they were able to do there to give the running back enough room to pick up that first down. From the 38-yard line, second down. Trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game Rutgers 13, Penn State 12. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.